Okay, we are removing the rotor bolt, and we're also going to be removing the rotor. And we're using a uh, this is just an oil filter wrench to hold the rotor in place while uh, we break it loose. So uh, whenever you're ready, Yanni. Okay, so our bolt's been a little stubborn here. We couldn't get it with a hand wrench, so we're going to use the impact wrench to hopefully take it off. There it goes. One, two, three. Okay, we're going to switch up. I'm going to use this is our puller tool to pull the rotor off. Anytime you use a rotor tool, puller tool, always oil it up, oil the threads. Okay, so we have our rotor tool installed here. Um, it's oiled up on the threads. We got our impact gun, and this time we're going to be twisting it inward. The rotor tool pushes on the end of the crankshaft and pops the rotor off. Not too fast. There we go. And there's our clutch. Oh, look at that. We're missing a screw. That's fun. Wonder if we'll find it in the bottom of the engine later. Be a treasure to find. Okay, we got our uh, rotor off, which is the same thing you do if we were to uh, <clears throat> just do electric starter bypass. Yanni's going to go ahead and tap this Woodruff key out. He's going to tap it harder. Keep going. Keep going. Wow, it was just that easy. Look at that. Both gears came off. The starter gear. Yep, that's it. Last part is to remove the electric starter. Is. Electric starter. We will never use that again. Yeah. Move on screws. Okay. The right hand side cover. Okay, here is our high performance um, low costs gear wedge tool. Um, these are readily available in cup holders in your car and sometimes on the ground. You can find them, so I'm going to go ahead and wedge it on the bottom side of this gear here. With this, this gear, and we're going to wedge it between the gears so they don't turn. Go ahead and rotate the motor right there. Locks it in place. Yanni's taking off the clutch basket right now. Last disc or last friction plate here, or friction plate, but friction ring is a little bit different from the other ones. Flip it over, Yanni. See how the back has kind of a taper on it? It's machined, it's a bit thicker. Um, it's the one that goes in the very back of the clutch basket, so it's a little bit different from the other ones. Okay, our next step is to remove uh, the rotor here. Uh, we have our special Honda rotor net removal tool. If you don't have one of these, you must have it to remove this part. And we have our high performance uh, gear wedge in place. And we've bent the, there's a tab in there that holds it in place. So we've already bent that back. So go ahead and unthread it. All right, there 
there's our nut. Okay, the rotor can come off now. I'm just wiggle it off. That's it. It's got the lock washer inside there. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we can slide the, uh, the main shaft gear off. That's the last oil pump bolts. The inner clutch basket. And the whole assembly comes out with the oil pump. There you go. And a little oil. To be expected. There it is right there. Okay, so we got the engine flipped over on its side off the stands. Uh, Yanni is removing the last of the uh, crankcase bolts. We have the ones with the 10 millimeter heads. And we're keeping tabs of where they go because they're all different lengths. <clears throat> and then we have four larger bolts with 12 millimeter head. Those guys right there. You just take the last one out. Okay, Yanni, can you explain what we did here? Yeah, so in order not to mess up the order and the lengths of the screws, we made a diagram, approximate position of each screw, and then we put the screw here to know when we put this back together, just pull out the screw and put it in the respective place. As you can see, this is the bottom of the engine, and this up here is the back of the engine, which we bent, so it matches uh, perfectly, M matches the engine perfectly. And this is the drain plug, for reference. So, it's not perfect, but it's, it works. Well, see if we can remove uh, Alright, so it's the crankcase is opened in two. Took a lot of tapping. And uh, everything looks good. Pulling the gears out. Transmission gears. Crankshaft is out. Crankshaft. Okay, the motor is pretty much disassembled. We have to still remove the shift forks and a couple more pieces in the crankcase, but uh, we're, here's our spread. Now, our next job will be to clean everything up. And if you haven't noticed, we've been putting uh, everything in Ziploc baggies and labeling it just so we can help keep things in order. All right.